and welcome to Oran Park Raceway near Sydney and grand final day of the Shell Australian Touring Car Championship. Well, can Mark Scaife do it today? Will Jim Richards rob him of the crown? And what are the roles to be played by Tony Longhurst and John Bow? Alan Moffat, I'm sure you'll agree, we've got a few things there to work out this afternoon. We have, and some cruel fate to Tony Longhurst this morning, mate. That was really bad luck. Certainly. Actually, the Peter Jackson Dash normally starts proceedings at the racetrack. The top six draw out, and John Bow, of course, had the outside of the front row heading down to the first turn. But as you can see, Tony Longhurst slid across the track after being punted from behind by Mark Gibbs and the GIO. Look out to the left. Gibbs on the grass, swack straight into the side of Tony Longhurst. He finished up going across the track and uh, flat spotted four tyres. John Bow, in the meantime, went on to win it and win it very, very comfortably indeed. There was a helter skelter for the minor placings, but Bow picked up $29,000 through winning the Peter Jackson Dash Series. That puts him on pole position for today. I don't know whether Sierra actually has the legs against the Nissan. They've got a marvellous record here. I think the Nissan has still got the chance to do it, and Freddie Gibson won't be taking any chances wanting to win the championship, either for Mark Scape or Jim Richards. And John Bauer, Mr. Consistency in the Shell Sierra. Sharing the front row. Watch the Nissans get off the line. There they go. Goodbye, all. As expected. They tear off into the distance. Bow made an absolute shocker of a start. He's gone back about eight spots, and even worse was Longhurst, who had to wait ten seconds after they'd taken off. That's what the rules say. Mark Scaife getting through very, very smartly, and Mark Gibbs, of course, the man uh, deemed perhaps of uh, cause Longhurst woes, started back where in the top six. Straight down on the inside, our Nissan race cam shows it. Jim doesn't seem perturbed at all. I think Jim has resigned himself to the fact of who's going to win this one today. I don't think it's Jim. I asked him yesterday how he was mentally ready for it. He said, no, well, it's uh, Scabies Championship, so he's prepared to sit there and let him go. Three GTRs when they have to do it, or they want to do it. Yeah. The Cam's handicapping system has been criticized all season, and it was just absolutely dreadful. Uh, to hear that uh, 100 kilos have been put on these cars but hasn't done a thing to them. No, no, you're right. Oh, Whoa. John Bow gets it loose. <laughs> Tail into the wall then, and that may be rubbing no, against the tire. really hurting there now. He hit that concrete wall very hard. You captured that on the camera there, and the bodywork is rubbing. Smoke billowing from the back of the car. John gave the wall a real clout when he came out onto the main straight there. That's a good the example of power over steer, it's called. Look at this. He Moment. Got Oh, the clear off too, I think, on the way through. He's lost his driver's mirror as well. I don't think he'll be worrying about that, but the smell of that smoke in the cockpit is always nerve-wracking, and it certainly doesn't look too good for him. We're taking our Castrol race cam. Keep in mind, this is riding under the front of Tony Longhurst's car. Just give you an indication of how quickly he's picking up the field as Jimmy Richards. Up on the inside of uh, Mark Gibbs, they go down the front straight at Oran Park. Certainly, uh, here's Dickie Johnson with... Uh, Tony Longhurst down the inside of him as he comes storming through the field. We've got a circuit breaker that keeps popping and stopping them cutting the fuel off. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. <laughs> On cue. No need for us to say anything. So, Longhurst up to sixth. That was an easy one at the end of the straight under Larry. Larry dabbing the brakes, Longhurst straight by him on the inside. He's just peeling them off one by one. Tremendous charge from the little BMW. Last corner now for Mark Scaife. He's going to take heat one. Jim Richards has closed right up. They make the run towards the chequered flag. And Mark Scaife takes the win. Tremendous performance. Second place goes to Jimmy Richards. Enormous gap back to Mark Gibbs. There's Gibbsy. And it's on for Young and Holdy. We've got Alan Jones and look at Glenn Seaton. Side by side with Tony Longhurst and it runs in favour of Seaton. That was a thrilling finish. A great charge from Tony. Boy, they don't come much closer than that. It's been a great series, no doubt about it. Uh, best touring car racing, the closest racing that we've seen during uh, season uh, 92. Let's wait for the final. We're ready for the grand final at Oran Park. We're about four seconds away from the start. Will it be Nissan or Tony Longhurst split them in the opening lap? They're off, the two Nissans. See you guys. Jones breaks into wheel spin. Perkins goes down the inside. He's gathered up smartly by Dick Johnson. Not the best of starts from Tony Longhurst. The Bimmer suffered badly off the start. And you'll see the three Nissan GTRs will lead them down into turn number one. Brock made a blinder down the outside. Glenn Seaton also a good start. 
There on the outside is Tony Longhurst and John Bow has gained about nine spots so far as the Nissans close it up, heading down to the right-hand turn. Great stuff from Peter Brock, as you said, Mike. And there's John Bow tucked in behind the mobile Commodore. John damaged the car, as you saw in the first heat, when he rammed it really hard against the wall coming onto the main straight. I've done the body repairs required. And actually, that's Dick Johnson in front of his uh, teammate there. So Bow in behind uh, the first of the BMWs. He has done well because Bow, in fact, started out of position 15, I think it was, in the pack. So he uh, has made a, a long run at the field, got up very smartly. Up to ninth already, there's Larry Perkins and Peter Brock right behind him. As they break it into single file, they run downhill for the approach to Goodyear. Glenn Seaton a little wobbly getting out of that turn. Bounding down to the bottom corner, Larry Perkins sits in and he splits the BMW as they come across the line. Scape the leader, Richards in second, and Mark Gibbs. Look at this, John Bow down the inside of Tony Longhurst. No beg your pardons. There's Bow. Oh, we've seen it's it quite so clean under there too. <laughs> we've seen it so many times this year, Mike. The BMW and John Bow Sierra. These two have been locked in battle in so many heats of the Shell Australian Touring Car Championship this year. One of them ending in controversial circumstances at Winton, but it hasn't detracted from the excellent sense of competition between these two cars. And this battle continues. And the old protagonists. And Longhurst went out wide there. John Bauer has him. And they come onto the main straight. Look at the straight line speed of this BMW. 2.5 litre four cylinder engine. They're getting an enormous amount of revs out of these engines this year. John Bauer showing the superior power of the turbo Ford Sierra but here's our leaders Mark Scaife going through that's second Jimmy Richards protecting and then third is Mark Gibson the GIO Commodore Alan Jones is in fourth place there's Glenn Seaton going through in fifth sixth is Larry Perkins seventh is Brock eighth is Bauer and ninth is Tony Longhurst Larry's thing just gathers in some more at 200 HP they're playing oh, with fire the here they're oh. playing with fire here exactly what we've seen happen earlier you you have to have the real estate in front of you to make a move like that. And once he lost traction with his brakes, he was out of control. He had to let the car go. Well, you can see in the last two or three laps, Brock was in big trouble. He was locking brakes everywhere. The car was sliding and slipping. He's having difficulty in the power down. Let's have a look at that again on the replay. Big lock up. Brock goes offline. When the back wheel gets under the dirt, he's gone. And Larry locks everything up to try and avoid him. The other guys got round him quite well, actually. Well, and you notice. And yeah, Larry slips off. Larry did a good job there. Three laps to go. Mark Gibbs has been the big winner out of all of this. As we showed you that replay, he's found a, a path past Perkins. Morris is down now. <laughs> yeah, so Larry had very little uh, defense against that move as well. He's, he's at the end of his tether. Oh, let's take the Castro race cam up this time on the inside of Seaton. The corner gets narrower. Wow. Aggressive. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's all right. The contact Sorry, he said thanks. That, that was a thanks. I'll see you later wave. That wasn't really a thanks for getting over. That was the, the famous Sterling Moss wave. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, caused a problem. I don't know whether he's got a tire that's yep. flat. Yes, he has. Puncture, right front, can't do a thing, can hardly steer it. They come into the final corner now. Crowd already to its feet to acknowledge and to salute Mark Scaife, the 92 Shell Australian Touring Car Champion. Second spot goes to Jimmy Richards in a form finish across the line. And third still to come in as they head down into the bottom turn. And it should be Alan Jones. There he is there on camera. Coming out of the last corner to finish in third place. So behind the two Nissans, it was daylight back to third. And even more daylight back to fourth. And that happened to be his team partner, Tony Longhurst, in the number 25 B&H BMW. And ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you for Shell Australia, the youngest touring car champion in our history, Mark Scaife. I bet that feels super, does it? Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, the guys have worked very hard all year, and uh, you know, to Gibson Motorsport, Winfield, Nissan, Yokohama, Shell, Australian Airlines, all our sponsors, thank you very much. Good boy, Mark Scaife. And to put the sash on you, Tommy Smith from Shell. Being a Shell boy, you'd appreciate that. Congratulations, Mark. Come on, you great race today with a magnificent season. Well done. Thank you very much. We do it every time, Tommy, don't we? Final points of the championship, Mark Scaife and Jimmy Richards for Winfield Team Nissan, 1-2, Tony Longhurst third in the series on 184, John Bowers next on 175 and Glenn Seaton on 173. What a series, Alan Moffat. Well, it was great, but certainly 1993 is going to be even more exciting.